few astronomical events generate as much anticipation as the future explosion of Betelgeuse. When this star finally reaches the end of its life, the spectacle in the sky will be so intense that it could even be seen during the day. And even though it's hundreds of light years away, this event could still influence life on Earth in surprising ways. Located on the shoulder of the famous Orion constellation, Betelgeuse is a familiar presence to anyone who enjoys stargazing. In both the southern and northern hemispheres, it stands out with its orange hue and intense brightness, easily visible to the naked eye. But at the end of 2019, something strange began to happen. The star's brightness started to drop dramatically, catching the attention of astronomers and enthusiasts around the world. So, what was happening to the giant star? Was it about to explode? Betelgeuse has always stood out for its unique characteristics. Besides its striking reddish color, it's located near the Three Marys, the trio of stars that form Orion's Belt, which makes it even easier to find in the sky. Here in the Southern Hemisphere, it can be observed from December through mid-May. The star lies about 642 light-years from Earth, and even at such a vast distance, its brightness reaches us with incredible power. That's because it's a red supergiant of spectral class M, with a temperature of approximately 3,200 degrees Celsius, which in stellar terms is relatively cool. For comparison, our sun has a surface temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Still, Betelgeuse shines with an intensity around 126,000 times greater than the sun's. But how can such a cool star be so bright? The answer lies in its colossal size. To the naked eye, it looks like just a bright point in the sky. But if we could get closer, we would see a gigantic, seething, and unstable sphere that pulsates as if it were breathing. These pulsations cause the star to expand and contract constantly, releasing heat and energy in all directions. When it's more contracted and hot, its outer layers could stretch all the way to Mars's orbit. But when it inflates and cools down, its size could reach beyond the orbit of Jupiter. It's as if it lives in an eternal cosmic back and forth, and these oscillations follow a rhythm. Every 400 days, the star completes a full cycle of expansion and contraction. Additionally, its brightness also varies slightly every 100 to 180 days, which shows that Betelgeuse is in a constant state of instability. What makes this all even more fascinating is that it's literally living its final moments. With a diameter of around 1.5 billion kilometers, about 764 times the size of the Sun, Betelgeuse is a true celestial monster. If it were placed where our Sun is, its outer gases would reach all the way to Jupiter's orbit. Its mass is around 19 times greater than the Sun's, which makes it a heavyweight in stellar terms. Stars with this kind of mass live fast and die young. Betelgeuse no longer burns hydrogen in its core, like our Sun still does. Instead, it has started fusing heavier elements, and this shift marks the beginning of its inevitable collapse. When hydrogen runs out, the core compresses, and fusion begins in a shell around it. This structure creates a bloated outer layer with low density, which gives the star its reddish appearance. And even with this lower density, the star's enormous surface area makes it far more luminous than the sun. Scientists estimate that Betelgeuse has been in this red supergiant stage for at least 20,000 years, possibly up to 140,000 years. These estimates are based on how much mass it has lost over time and on the elements detected on its surface. But what really grabbed the world's attention in recent years was what happened at the end of 2019. Without warning, the star began to dim before our very eyes. Its brightness dropped by about a third, a phenomenon so noticeable that even people without telescopes could observe it. Betelgeuse became dimmer than stars in its constellation that are usually less bright, something completely unexpected. This sudden change led many to speculate whether the long-awaited explosion, the supernova, was about to occur. To better understand the phenomenon, astronomers analyzed data from several observatories, including the famous Hubble Space Telescope, and what they discovered was astounding. Betelgeuse had gone through a rare and extremely energetic event. It had lost a significant part of its visible surface, releasing an absurd amount of material into space. This release was classified as a surface mass ejection, or SME, an event that had never before been recorded in a normal star. Unlike the coronal mass ejections we observe on our Sun, where small portions of the solar atmosphere are thrown into space, Betelgeuse's SME was colossal. It's estimated that it expelled around 400 billion times more mass than a typical solar CME. This explosion created a dense dust cloud more than 1.5 million kilometers across, 
and this cloud moved directly toward Earth, blocking about one-third of the star's light and explaining its sudden dimming. But the effects didn't stop there. One of Betelgeuse's most consistent behaviors, its 400-day pulsation cycle, simply vanished. For almost two centuries, astronomers had tracked this rhythm like clockwork, but after the explosion, that pattern disappeared. This suggests that profound changes took place inside the star. Adding up all these signs, the dimming, the massive ejection of material, the loss of its regular pulsation, scientists believe Betelgeuse's end is getting closer. And when it finally explodes as a supernova, the event will leave a mark on Earth. Despite all the excitement, it's important to understand that even with such a spectacle, Earth is not at risk of being destroyed. That's because Betelgeuse is far enough away that its explosion won't pose a direct threat to our survival. In other words, the physical effects of the supernova wouldn't be strong enough to travel through space and cause any harm to our planet. But that doesn't mean there wouldn't be any impact at all. On the contrary, the explosion of Betelgeuse would trigger a range of effects, mostly visual and environmental, that would catch the world's attention. It's estimated that the brightness of the supernova would be as intense as the full moon, and not for just a few minutes or hours, but for up to three months. During that time, the night sky would have two major bright points, the moon and Betelgeuse's explosion. And the most surprising part is that this light would be visible to the naked eye even during the day. Yes, it would be impossible to ignore the dying stars shining in the sky. For about a year, it would be visible in the daytime sky as a steady, bright new point of light, shining even against the sunlight. At night, the show would be even more impressive. Even after the initial brightness begins to fade, the glow of the supernova would still be visible for several years. It would gradually get dimmer, but remain bright enough to be seen without any equipment. Imagine looking at the sky and seeing something as bright as the moon, but in a completely different spot, on the shoulder of the Orion constellation. The cultural impact of that would be enormous. News outlets around the globe would follow it. Social media would be filled with sky images, and many people who never once looked up at the stars might begin doing so. And it wouldn't just be humans who noticed the change. Animals that use the moon as a reference for navigation, like some species of turtles, migratory birds, and even insects, could be affected by the presence of a new, intense source of light. Ironically, astronomy itself would be one of the most impacted fields. When the moon is full, astronomers usually avoid sensitive observations because the lunar brightness interferes with their instruments. With Betelgeuse's supernova, the situation would be even more complicated. While the event would provide a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study a nearby supernova in real time, it would also make other research more difficult, as the intense light from the explosion could blind telescopes, saturate sensors, and hinder the observation of other celestial bodies. And don't think we're just talking about regular ground-based telescopes. Even space telescopes like Hubble or the James Webb would have trouble dealing with the supernova's brightness. To continue studying the star and its explosion, the equipment would need to be adjusted, drastically reducing the amount of light entering the lenses. In other words, even the best human eyes turned to the sky would have to wear sunglasses to avoid being blinded by such brightness. But after all, when is this going to happen? The truth is no one knows. Betelgeuse could explode tomorrow, or it might continue pulsating for tens of thousands of years. What astronomers do know is that when the moment arrives, we'll get a small heads up. That's because just before the explosion, the star will emit a very specific type of signal, neutrinos. These subatomic particles are produced in huge quantities during the final stages of a star's death and can pass through matter with ease. Neutrino detectors scattered across the Earth would be the first to notice that something is about to happen. In addition, the explosion would generate gravitational waves, tiny distortions in the fabric of space-time, which could also be detected in advance. These signals would give science about a day to prepare before the light from the supernova finally reaches us. Now imagine this scene. People all around the world, eyes turned toward the sky, waiting for the exact moment when Betelgeuse explodes. It would be like a grand cosmic performance, an event that unites science, beauty, and our own curiosity about the universe. After all, how many times in a lifetime do we get the chance to see a star die in real time? Maybe only once, maybe never. But if we're alive to witness it, it will be a historic moment. And you? How do you think you'd react if you saw this phenomenon with your own eyes? Would you be moved? Frightened? Or simply in awe of the cosmos's power? Tell us in the comments what you think about it. Let's talk about this cosmic show that could happen at any moment. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a like and share this video with that friend who loves space.
Thank you so much for watching, and until our next journey through the universe.